Hey, welcome back to Fallout 4. Tonight we're trying uh, Xander's Aid, uh, which is another quest-type mod that that sounded really good. So I was like, hey, let's give it a go. Um, okay, let's see. Questline takes you to a new world. It's recommended that you only bring what you need for looting purposes. You can, however, leave the world at any time through either two exits, the way you came in or through the elevator inside the radio station. Please report bugs as you see them. Read the description page for more info. Couple of good tips. Read every terminal. If you get stuck on something, check your log and pick boy. Go the dugout into begin. Enjoy. Alright. Sweet. I guess I'll go uh head off to do that then. Oh what? Oh, okay. We got the quest now. This okay, yeah, he looked a little bit different than the others, so I would assume. Thank you for finding Earl Skeelum. Can't believe the doctor would do such a thing. Oh, well, at least... When are you gonna finally let me buy you that drink? Gonna have to take a rain check, but next time. Every time I come in here, people are, like, always wishing him well. Anyway. Uh... Hi? Hey. You looking for work? I could use your help on something. Sorry. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Name's Dus Ander. Long story short, I've been searching for a friend for a long time, and I found some info on where he may be. Think you can help? Why do you ask? There's a reason why I haven't gone myself. He's in a vault in the glowing sea, and I'd rather not go there. Okay. I don't like where you're heading with this. Maybe 600 caps will change your mind. But listen up. I'm a ghoul, believe it or not. I've just been fixed up with a new face and a new voice. The rest of my body is still... Well, anyways, I was around when the bombs fell, and so was Jay. If I'm alive, then perhaps there's a chance that he survived. If he did, then his greatest chance was that vault. If not, then bring me back any info on what you may have found. Uh... I seriously doubt that, but please... Get to the point. Just give me a chance, all right? Head to the west side of the Glowing Sea Crater and you'll find an old decaying reactor site. Inside there, you should find that vault. I'll be here in the dugout inn waiting for your return. Oh, and good luck. Okay. Ah, uh, the detective is back. You should have a drink, gumshoes. And Nick's just gonna ignore him. All right, that's fine. It's, it's, uh... Okay, glowing sea it is then. That sounds fun. It was fun the first time around. I seem to remember there being a lot of explosions and scorpions under the ground. Also, death claws. That was not so much fun. Okay. So, here we are. I've already found this place previously, so that makes it a little bit easier. Oh. He's dead. Is this all that's left? Someone made a real mess of you, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I don't know what I just did. I, in fact, really don't know what I just did. But I do know I need to go in there somehow? Oh, there's a thing under the ground. That's a dur on my part for missing that. Okay. Yes. I do have one question. If he's a ghoul, and I know ghouls aren't really allowed in Diamond City, but, you know, he has some makeover and so he looks like he's not a ghoul. This is music is different. This must be quest music. I mean, I know I have a thing installed that gives me some different music, but this is not music that was ever installed, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, my question is, uh, 
Why would he look in a human settlement that only allows humans and some synths uh, to hang out at? Why would he go there for people who would be going through the... Oh, really? Really? This is what we're doing? Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh. Oops. Ooh, a piece of candy. Okay, then. Oh, I should probably also mention, uh, I installed another mod that affects some of, uh, Companion's AI, so... It means that Nick should be able to switch between weapons pretty more, or, or he should be able to do so with the weapons I've assigned him, anyway. What is here? Sweet. Ooh. I'm hearing robots. Lots of water. Well, gee, thanks. Um, you stop. Damn, thanks. <laughs> Just some time for Nick to freak out. What is this? I don't know, but they look cool. Someone's coming. They are. They even break a sweat. Oh, Not yeah. See, he, he just took out a sword, and he beat it. Beat them. Missiles. I have no idea why there's these things stacked over here, but ooh, what is this? Danny, hey man, I was gonna go to the surface for it, but I know we're not supposed to, but I can't help myself. I'm leaving this here and here since I know this is the first place you'll be when you wake up. <laughs> so if anyone has to say I'm in uh, the bathroom, yeah, I go with that. Oh, no, go follow me. You won't even know which way to go. From Jay, the guy who's dead. He went outside and had a dead. Well. We found out what happened to him. We still have to search for clues, though. Why is every door locked? Just out of curiosity. I mean, I would be annoyed if I have to unlock and lock a door every time I walk in and out of it. That's it. I mean, I only do that, you know, to the main door place. Danny's terminal found this. Found some old terminals in the lower garage area. Unfortunately, the bombs that fell caused some serious structural damage to that area. Seems very unstable. Got the, this terminal another for Jay and got out of there right quick. Since that area is pretty unsafe, I've locked the door to the side of the facility and the garage. The passageway could come down at any time and, I, and do the same. There's another way into the garage, though. It doesn't have to lock on the door, so I bar barred it to keep the kids from exploring over there. Can't have anything happen to the next generation, haha. But now I'll keep the, the key under my bed. Oh, that's nice. As predicted, the whole garage area collapsed. Woke everyone up when it did. Good thing I blocked it all off or someone could have been killed. Especially since kids like to sneak around at night and go where they aren't supposed to. I wonder how unstable it is now. If it holds up for another month, I'll go check it out and see what became of the garage. Uh, yeah. Well, it's been a month. Went down there and you wouldn't believe what was left. Basically, there was a perfect hole in the wall right before the collapsed passage to the other half of the facility. And through this hole, the whole cavern. Not going to tell Jay or the others about this. Going to store some goodies in there. I know there's a safe in the garage. Just need to move it. It's the cavern area and figure out how to lock the lock code. Should be easy enough, right? Should also set up a cool little hangout area for some alone time. This facility just got a lot smaller since that hallway was blocked off even before I locked it. Found his note this morning. I don't believe him. He's not coming back. I can tell he's been on edge. Maybe I should have shown him the garage area. I made it pretty nice after all. 
Well, I might as well give him a couple days. After that, I guess I'll hop on his terminal and see what's up. He's dead. So this is yo 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 user. That's great. So I went on his terminal and read his journal entries from when we first got here to now. I didn't cry when our home was destroyed. I didn't cry when we were forced to live down here. And I didn't cry when we realized there was no way we would be able to go back up to the surface. But I cried when I finished reading his last journal entry. He's gone and we'll never know how far he got. For now, I will leave his room as he left it. The light will remain on and hopes he returns home. I'm glad I got him that turn on. I hope he finds Dustin. That would make this all worth it. Just after Christmas, too. I think we were under attack. There's something on the surface trying to get in. I don't even want to know what creatures exist up there. And I know it's not Jay. He knows a lot combination. For now, I've evacuated everyone through the garage area and into the other place for now. We've grabbed everything we need and took it to in there. I've locked the supply room, too. Whoever's getting in here won't be able to get in there. Uh, well, I imagine. I'm keeping that door locked, and I will put up the bar and the other doors once everyone is inside. This may be my last entry. This is your last entry. Where's that key? There it is. I ganked it. Excuse. Uh. Oh. Corrupted holotape. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Well, here we are, the bomb spell. I guess I kind of knew it would happen in the back of my mind, but I always dismissed it for being paranoid. Welcome to hell, population six. Best part, this place wasn't designed to hold that many people. Sharing is caring. Danny and I made it along with four others. Didn't hear anything from Dustin, though. Good old Dusty Xander. There's no way he's been taken down. Even a bomb can stop him. Well, I may be over-exaggerating. I hope he's all right. Actually, now that I think about it, I should put down the date of these journals in the file menu instead of fuck and day seven. I'll start that in the next one. Anyways, one week down and eternity to go. I'm bored. Danny's bored. Everyone is bored. I really just want to poke my head outside to see the landscape. I imagine once a year's past, so I could probably do it for a second. Ha. Oh, there's a camera in the supply room. I better get it and put it here in my room so no one uses up the film. Then I can get some cool pictures of what was once home. I think I'm getting the hang of this journal stuff. Look at the date. Got that in there like a pro. It's not been two weeks. I think I'll post a new one every week, or I guess whenever I feel like it. Today, Danny and I tried creating a game for the terminals like those Robco holotape games. I'm reluctant to say that we failed. If only we were a huge company that makes games on the side for the hell of it. Maybe we will get back to it. For now, I'll keep it on my desk. Oh, so that was that failed holotype I got. This will be my last. Today's date is possibly 12, 17, 77. It's almost morning. Just wrote a note for Danny saying that I went outside momentarily and not to follow. Told him I will be right back and just to make up an excuse for me. But those are not my intentions. I left it in the supply room for him. <laughs> That's not where he is every morning. Danny, if you are reading this, and that means I went through it with it and never haven't come back. So I suppose you will want to know why I left. So, yeah. I like to think that I'm leaving uh, as a sacrifice to save on supplies. But truth is that I'm going crazy in here. I can't stand it. It's so small and dull and stuffy. You can live out there all you want, but I'm going outside. It may be inhospitable up there, and I know my complaints here are pathetic in terms of what I will face up there. But I need to try and do something. Hell, maybe there are survivors. Imagine that, if I could so trade with them and get some supplies for everyone. But I know that's just wishful thinking. Anyways, later, man, you're my best friend. I always will be. Oh, and don't worry. One of my objectives is to find Justin. I will not fail, except that you did. Yeah. He failed. He failed, uh, big time. Alright. So... I have a key, right? And that key goes in that direction. But I want to see what's down this way. Probably not much. Oh, that's right. It's barred. He said he did bar that, so... Excuse. Alright. Is this that little, like, 
hole into the crevice that he was talking about? Yeah, I think it is. Ooh, what's up here? The music died, by the way, I noticed that. Sure don't make them like they used to. Nope. See, I can to I can get this. Yeah. Got it. I told you. Let's see. Okay, what's in there? First aid. Damn it. Of course, it was on the first try that that died. That is how these things tend to work. There we go. That's it. Okay, then. Really? Is it just like all this stuff is in the way and so you're not allowed to cross? Okay, maybe I can't go. Anyway, find out where Danny went. Uh, well, the thing is leading up. Switch for clues and. Let me go to the lo local map. There we, there we go. Oh, that's defending the soul. They did say that this map had to be, like, really, uh... Um... You know... Stuff. Well... I am not sure how to get in there, because... It does not seem to be. No, yeah, that's true. You know, maybe I should reread that terminal. Maybe that'll tell me something interesting. So, okay. Oh, uh, hi, Nick! <laughs> Nick decided that uh, he was gonna go ahead. And, uh, get that. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Thanks for that. That's good. Also, the music, it, like, died and then I, well, I left and I came back. Because the slog was doing stuff and, like, I, I didn't know what to do here for a bit, so I left to go help the slog and then I came Maybe back. want to turn the lights down? Hey, I can't do anything about that, dude. Anyway... This is a door. Danny's new terminal. Ooh. Yeah, another terminal. Damn it, Jay. Yeah, another terminal. Found another terminal in this here room. Reformatted it and made it mine. The others are in the room down the hall. I took this one up because it's close to the part of the facility I blocked off. If someone or something gets past my blockade, then they will have to be go by my door first. I will protect the others with my life. There's a vault through the other door, but the people inside won't let us in. Damn them. Supplies are going faster than anticipated. I need to get to the old supply room in the upper area. But then what? Even if I manage to get it all and bring it back without getting killed, what will save us next time? I'm really run out again. Can't go knocking on the vault door. They'll most likely shoot me on sight. Jay should have stayed. If I die out there, he will watch over the others. Anyway, I'm going for the supplies. Time to put my life on the line. Here's hoping I make it back to type another journal entry. He does. I made it back, but it appears that there was indeed something down here that tripped the security alarms. Unfortunately, the room I had to get to is the most dangerous. Those two turrets in there are active. Luckily, they don't have a very good shot. Not to mention one was blocked by the door. As for the intruder, I didn't come across them. <clears throat> okay, I got a good handful of surprise. But again, this won't hold us out for very much longer. On the other side of the door, parallel to mine, there is a vault. Not sure which one, but I need to get in there. I found a key to the door. I'm going to try and peek on the other side. I went to the vault door. 
It's Vault 141. Someone came out with a gun pointing at me telling me to stay back. What? Anyways, I pleaded with the guy and he said he would talk to his overseer, whoever that is. It must be his leader or supervisor in charge of him. He said he will come to us tomorrow. We're in! The overseer was quite moved by our experience and let us in. Once in, they will assign us jobs by taking some, uh, goat test, he said. Pretty sure he said goat. Then could a, what a, what could a goat test be? I'm currently imagining goat standing in the middle of an empty room. I walk inside and the goat door closes behind me. It stares at me and a wrestling match begins. Obviously that can't be it. How would that determine my job? At least I'll have the key to the door here behind the filing cabinet. I don't really need it for anything. Well, we are packed and I can finally say goodbye to this place. Although I won't be far. So, filing cabinet behind door key. Key to a door. Ah, that's the vault. What's down here? This is where I came from? Yeah. That is where I came from. Excuse me, Nick! Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Yes, that's where we're going then. Oh, 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 oh,